Hello, welcome to another vlog. This one is really spontaneous. I literally was editing a video, it's uploading, and then I just decided to turn this camera on because... Trigger warning, eating disorder, binging. Okay, you heard it. Now you can decide whether to stay or not. As you know, I really, really, really struggle with food and binging, unfortunately, which is just so horrible, the cycle. It's actually, I don't even know. I hate it. Anyway, sorry, I'm chewing gum. Let me take it out because it's gross. So the reason I picked up the camera really spontaneously, and I know I'm not supposed to be doing any vlogging, but this one is spontaneous, because basically I can feel a binge coming on. It's kind of unfortunately already started. I could save it. I could stop myself now though. I could stop myself and save the binge and not, not do a binge. Save the situation. However, it's only quarter to two in the afternoon. Technically, I've eaten what I would have eaten in a day. In a normal day. So I don't know what to do now because we're supposed to have pho tonight with the kids because they love pho. Or pho, sorry. And like Wednesday night is when we do our takeaway night because Fridays um, the takeaway places are always too busy and the delivery takes forever and the kids can never wait. So I decided to do takeaways on a Wednesday night, which I think is nicer because it's midweek and it helps you kind of get through the week, you know? So anyway, this is just me documenting to see what the binges really look like because a lot of you, I don't think, really know what they look like. And I think a lot of people throw the word binge around. They're like, oh, I binged. But I'm wondering if you really know what it would mean to binge. Although binging can be different, can look different for people, you know. For some people, having a binge could be literally just like, I binged on a packet of cookies. And mentally, the struggle is still there and that horrible cycle. But for other people, like me, a binge would be really, really, um, really, in my opinion, much more excessive amounts of food than the whole packet of cookies. And so I just thought I'd start this vlog in case I end up binging, then I think I should document it. Maybe this will, this will be a way to help myself, because if I was to watch this back, I think I would be shocked. Whereas a lot of the time when I binge, it's really, it's very fast. And I'm not thinking about the excessive amounts of food I'm having. I don't know. I'm waffling. I'm waffling. I'm waffling. So if I do binge, hopefully I don't. But if I do, then this would be the first binge of the week. The last time I had a binge was only on Sunday. Literally two days ago. So like for me to binge now would be really stressful actually for the rest of the week. It would have an impact on the rest of my plans for the week. Which obviously affects everyone in the family. Because obviously I have plans with people in my family, like my kids and my husband. So when I all of a sudden change the plans just because I binged, they don't really understand that. And it's not really fair on, on people, on family, really. So yeah, I don't know. This video is probably gonna be all over the place, but I thought it would just, I feel like that's the only way I can do a vlog now. If it was, it would, it would be a vlog showing really, really real situations. Like I can't be doing like, oh, today I went here and today I went there. Cause I don't go fucking anywhere. I'm literally a regular person, day to day, school run, miserable days, especially in January. Sometimes good days, you know, hard work. Do you know, normal bloody person. If it does, then I'm gonna remember to film everything I eat. Just so I can, there's no really real reason. Only because I've never done that. I have never shown it before and maybe. Maybe it'll help if I do. Don't know. I'll see you in a bit. I'm down here now because I'm in the cupboard. <laughs> Technically what I've eaten today already is what I would have on a good day or a controlled day. So I've already eaten my breakfast which was protein yogurt and um, coffee and a banana. And then I had lunch which was two portions of porridge in one bowl with maple syrup and salt. By the way, that combination. Then I went and had leftover sushi then straight after, not straight after, but about an hour after. Basically what happened, okay, is I've come on my period again and I don't understand why, because I swear, maybe I'm losing my mind here, but I swear to God my last period was two weeks ago or I just finished it 
coming up to two weeks ago. So this is way too soon for me and it was completely unexpected. So this might have something to do with it as well as maybe hitting a deadline or maybe doing too much. But the thing is, my too much is really not a lot, unfortunately. Came on my period in between the porridge and the sushi. And then after the sushi, I had a big sharing bag of pop chips, sriracha flavor. Oh, and then in between the sushi and the pop chips, I had two brioche rolls and a like pancake, like chocolate pancake kids snack. So now before I go pick up Hannah, I'm gonna just have a protein cookie. Cause that's got 20 grams of protein in it. And maybe that will keep me full now so that I'm not, I don't do anything out of control. And then maybe we all have our dinner together. And then maybe after I've had my dinner, I'll just have some dessert. So maybe we can turn this around so that it's not a controlled day or a calorie counting day, but it's also not a binge. It's just a eat what you want, but not past uncomfort and not binge. And I really, really need to clean my kitchen cupboards. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's happening right now. Dear Lord. There it is. Non-bleached. Perfect. Ugh, this is awful. What is that about? I, I do wipe my kitchen covers, no one believes me. But the amount of people that obviously open the cupboards to get things out, the fingerprints are insane. I feel a manic clean coming on. No, we're not gonna do that. Because I did that on Monday actually. On Monday I decided not to go into work, or work being the office, or do anything other than work out and clean the house. Because I felt like I just couldn't focus if I did that, so. Okay, I've fully got distracted then. Horrendously random vlog, sorry. Just, okay, that's done. Right, anyway, protein, cookies and bars. Go to Home Bargains, oh my God, they're like one pound and like, they have so much protein in them and they taste just as good as all the expensive ones, if you ask me, so. This is Trust Protein Cookie Filled, Red Velvet. Mmm. That tastes like fake food. Mm. So we still haven't gone to pick up Hannah, but since I spoke to you last and I had that protein cookie, I had to suddenly write up something for a website, my website. But it was a last minute little job. So now I'm back in the kitchen and I'm just snacking on some poppadoms, which we have left over from yesterday's curry dinner. But I cooked by the way. And everybody said it was delicious, yeah. Uh-huh. I'm out of breath. Don't come back. Hmm. Oh, there's two more. I don't want to eat both of them. Okay, I just went and got these two biscuits out of the cupboard. And I'll just nibble on those now. Okay, I went and got two more of those biscuits. See, do you know what's mad? Look at the TV. So I finished everything I had to do today, about an hour early. So remember I told you I was filming, editing, getting it all ready so when the kids come home I can chill. I finished about an hour early. I started at 9am, finished about 2. And then I put on a new programme to start watching. Watched 30 seconds, got distracted, went in the kitchen. Started nibbling, started filming this. Is that fake down on my fingers? Ugh, and it is. Now I'm doing this thing where I'm... Um, pacing the house looking for snacks until it's time to go pick up Hannah because it's like a weird window of time where there's literally like half an hour and in half an hour I can't do anything other than just wait for the next thing because what's half an hour gonna do? But then sometimes I can do loads in half an hour like a billion house jobs. Actually, I'm gonna wash the dishes before I go. Yeah. Done the dishes and now I'm parched, absolutely parched. So I'm just gonna have some leftover Coke Zero that's in my free fridge. Why was I gonna say freezer? You know what I have noticed? I've been drinking a lot of Coke or Pepsi recently and it's really not good on my teeth. Like I can feel my teeth being more sensitive. Oh, brain freeze. That's gone straight to me, Edda. Sometimes I think, do I binge because I'm happy or because I'm sad? Or do I binge when I'm stressed? Or do I binge when I'm all of those? Cause like, if it's when I'm, oh, I hate when the fridge starts beeping. Mm, so annoying. If I binge when I'm all of the emotions then, like for example, 
loads of people when they're happy, they'll just be like, oh, let's go celebrate and eat and blah, blah, blah. But then people when they're sad will feel sorry for themselves, so they'll comfort eat. But if I'm doing both, then why am I satisfying, why am I, why am I, like, doing both things for the for different emotions why am i doing the same thing but for different emotions you know what i mean see this is what i'm trying to say am i happy because i had a productive day productive work day and so i'm just letting myself go in terms of like being out of control go because it's more fun to be out of control or am i low-key anxious because i was anxious when i was doing the work and that's why i'm being out of control you know which one is it do you know which one is it I tell you what though, me really picking up the camera and filming it, I have noticed that I'm thinking it through a bit more than when, than when I'm not filming and I'm just going through this because then I'm literally just going through the motions and I'm almost like autopilot, just digging through the kitchen like. Uh, 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 uh. Back from picking up the child and obviously going to finish the contents of her lunchbox. Which actually today is only two tomatoes. Why must you sit on my laptop? Why? It's my... <laughs> Mick has just come home from nursery and he made bread. And he stuffed it down my face. But he won't let me... He won't let me put butter on it. Will you, Mika? No. Why can't I put butter on it? But I don't want to put butter on it. But you're not eating it, I am. No, I am. Oh, you no, are? I okay, am. fine. Actually, Hannah's eating it. <laughs> ham, ham, nam, 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 nam. Now you guys are having some. It's so yummy. It's good, fresh bread. Well done, ham. Meeks. What were the ingredients you made? There are no ingredients in here. There's no ingredients in the bread? No. Is there any flour or egg? What's it made from? It made from, it made from Jana's house. It tastes a bit like sweet. Added butter to it and shared it with Hannah. Ooh, homemade bread. Domino's pizza. Domino's pizza. Tony's Chocolonies. Mm. So it's been a few hours now since pizza and the kids have gone up to bed as you can hear with Sid. Now I'm having a handful of cashews. Oh, after the pizza though I went and had one other slice of pizza from the kids' margarita side. So the one without jalapenos and one more chicken. Stripper. I didn't really have that much of the pizza and chicken. Normally I'll eat a whole pizza to myself. I wasn't actually feeling it, which tells me that my binging, I'm starting to listen more to how I'm feeling during it. Like it's not manic and rushed and like panicky. Dried apricot as well. Gonna have to have another one of those. If you don't have these, you should have them. Ooh, they remind me of like, being little in Egypt. I had to go and help Sid with the kids because we were going on one. That's what I was gonna say. I was just having cashews and apricots while I wait for my porridge, yep. So this porridge is actually dinosaur porridge. So like if I mix it, you'll see little dinosaurs popping up, except it never really works. And it's too hot to do it, so I'm not gonna, sorry. So this is a bowl of porridge with a fiber one bar in it. And I think I might put some blueberries and strawberries in. Yeah, let's do that. We put two chocolate buttons and a lotus biscuit, half of a lotus biscuit crumb, crumbled over the top for toppings. Um, this is probably going to be the last thing I eat tonight. This has been going on for about since I think I started filming at like one or two, I think. Um, I'm actually a little bit confused. I don't actually know if I would class this as a binge now or just a like really high calorie day because this might be happening subconsciously. I might not actually be eating as much as I would 
when I do binge because maybe because I'm filming it and I'm actually low-key ashamed so I'm not eating as much I feel like that might be the case because I know so everything you've seen me eat and then what I ate before it which you didn't see I, it probably would be doubled maybe even tripled on a bad binge day but I'm not even like stuffed at the moment I'm just content and this will probably make me comfortably full I'm actually feeling like this is a bit more progressive than my usual because normally I'd be eating and eating and eating until I am in pain and then I'd go to bed nearly wanting to cry and wake up the next morning not wanting to go out but I feel like this is actually just mm, it doesn't feel as bad so maybe that's progress however I am gonna vlog uh, the morning you can see how I usually would feel in the morning and then also for me to document do I feel any different because maybe I didn't go I didn't go as much as I would normally or maybe it's that I ate it all a little bit slower and over a certain amount of time whereas normally I eat in like a chaotic kind of way and I would have eaten everything that you've seen within the space of maybe two hours rather than what is it now five or six hours maybe that's what it is just a disclaimer I don't want anyone to get triggered by this so I've put massive trigger warning in the title and the thumbnail um, but also if you are watching what I'm eating and thinking that's not a binge I eat that normally and then that, that's absolutely fine as well it's different for everyone you know and like it is a binge if you think it's a binge and it's not your usual behavior then that's fine then you know you you can call it that I feel like I ate more like whatever I felt like today I actually didn't go overboard like normally I would have eaten that whole pizza not caring how I felt but I literally ate two and a half slices and I was like yeah I'm good so that's a big step for me is that just because I'm filming maybe I should film more often because maybe that would help I don't know anyway uh, I'm gonna eat this and then I'll see you guys in the morning. After this, I'll most likely br brush my teeth, take off my makeup, do my skincare, and then watch some TV before bed. So that's why I know this will be the final thing I eat because once I start brushing my teeth and doing my floss, ain't no more food going in their mouth because it takes so long to do. I've come to the quietest part of the house because it's currently a full house, um, which is the utility room. And it's the next day. And I'm going to be honest with you, this morning I woke up feeling horrendous. I felt puffy and bloated and just bleh. But I didn't let it stop me from getting changed. So I put on my gym clothes because I had a class to go to this morning anyway. And I also had a coffee. And you know one of the most important things about trying to overcome binging, I think, is the next day making sure that you don't starve to try and like make up for it. Um, so after the gym class, I had breakfast, which was porridge with maple syrup and salt. And I had a protein bar. And I've also had a banana and just now I had a banana and some strawberries and cherry tomatoes. Is that what I've had? That's what I've had and I'm about to have my dinner. I don't know what that is yet, but I need to cook as well for the kids. So yeah. Today hasn't been so bad. To be honest with you, I smashed the workout at the gym. Before, what I used to do, usually stay home the next day and do nothing, but I also don't eat. Whereas what, I've, what I have been doing recently is making sure that I continue the next day as usual. Your mood changes super quick, but it's that bit during the binge and after and the morning after, that's like the hard slump to get through. So I thought it would be important to show you guys, you know, the next day, which is more of a usual day for me. I'm gonna have my dinner and then I'll probably have porridge again later because I am Abba's has to with the purge. I am, I don't know what's going on. Yesterday I had my hair straightened, then I went to the gym, obviously sweated and all of this strange stuff is happening. Anyway, this is me just telling you how I felt because I told you I would and reminding you that if you are struggling with food, that the next day is not an excuse to starve. As hard as it is to say that. You know, I came across a video the other day uh, of somebody who does what I eat in a week and it was a really healthy view she had with food and a really healthy relationship. She was just eating whatever she wants, no like connotations with anything. And I was just watching it thinking, wow, I wish I could be like that. But we're gonna get there. Anyway, am I gonna end this video? I am gonna end this video. As you know, my thoughts are all over the place. 
I have loads of thoughts about yesterday. I don't even know if that was, I don't know what that was, but I just know that it wasn't, it wasn't a positive, mm, uh, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna shut up because I've already, just shut up. Okay, I'll see you next week. Bye.